Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. This one's going to be all about what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. What do you need to know about their intentions? As always, keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate for every Aquarius watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, okay? What messages do you have for Aquarius? Three, okay. <clears throat> Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. New love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So I feel like you've manifested something here, Aquarius, that's coming to pass. Some sort of new love. Real feelings here for each other. So let's see what that's all about. What's going on in this connection between Aquarius and this other person? What is going on in the love life of my beautiful Aquarius? What messages do you have for Aquarius in love? Ten of Swords, Page of Wands. Wow. Two of Wands, one more please. Aquarius, something happened here in love where there was some sort of ending or cycle that completed itself. Um, maybe you felt betrayed or heartbroken or something happened here with the Ten of Swords. Maybe you had a separation that you um, went on or went through in the past. I feel there's some sort of communication coming in that's going to require that you make a decision. So it's like you're going to talk, probably somebody's going to talk to you and make you an offer for new love possibly here or tell you that they're interested in you or something like that. And then you're going to have to make a decision of like moving forward with that. And with judgment reverse, I feel like there's something where maybe your judgment is blocked about this decision. Maybe you're unsure or perhaps you're not really seeing things very clearly. We'll see. Let me clarify these energies for Aquarius. Now Aquarius, if I can shuffle. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so it will not resonate. Not every reading you watch is meant for you, so keep that in mind. Don't try to make this fit if it's not your reading. You'll know soon, soon enough if this is. If it doesn't resonate at all, check out my playlist for Aquarius. And if it does resonate, don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know how it, it's resonating for you. So let's see. Let me clarify. Why is this kind of swords here? Why is this kind of swords here? Wow. The Fool. There's that new love. This is something like new. New journey in love. A risk, someone taking a risk here. It's like something ended for something new to begin. The Hermit Reverse, Virgo Energy. Why is this Ten of Swords here? It could also be that um maybe someone's not listening to their intuition, either you or another person, about how things ended. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Or perhaps someone's overthinking something. Yeah, Four of Cups. I feel like this could be um, a, an opportunity that you, you might miss or maybe you're not really open to something new right now. Maybe you don't feel ready. I feel there's something that in your heart hasn't completely ended. Death card at the bottom reverse. And I think that's why the two of wands is here. It's almost like you have to choose between the past and the, and the future. You or another person. Tell me about page of wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? Strength card, Leo energy. Why is the Page of Wands here? We're we dealing with a fire sign. Magician reverse. Why is the Page of Wands here? I feel like in order to manifest something, someone needs courage 
or perhaps they need to just be honest with themselves. Ace of Swords reverse. It's at the bottom of the deck. The Tower reverse. Very interesting. The Tower reverse with the Four of Wands. What's behind that? Two of Pentacles, Knight of Wands reverse. I feel like whatever happened in the past, it was someone that you couldn't trust. If this is someone that you, you're not sure about or, you, you know, be very careful because if whatever ended in the past, this person, you couldn't trust them. They weren't honest about something or perhaps there were like arguments or verbal conflict here. Tell me about the Magician Reverse. Why is the magician reverse? Five of Wands reverse. Okay, there was always fighting drama here. Seven of Wands. And it caused you to be like on the defensive. I'm also picking up, for others of you, this could be that someone has been trying to overcome conflict or resolve conflict. Um, I And I think that you're resisting that. It's very strange. It's almost like you don't really, you haven't really let something go completely. But at the same time, if they were to come back, I don't think you'd be open to them, Aquarius. Something like that. It's like um, a very um, back and forth energy that I'm picking up on here. Why is this two of wands here? Regardless, someone I feel wants to talk to you or vice versa and express their interest here. Why is the Two of Wands? And I feel like you're gonna have to make a decision about that. Ten of Cups reverse. Why is it, that's another 10 here. Why is the Two of Wands here? Two of Cups, wow. Why is the Two of Wands here? Five of Swords reverse, the Sun reverse. I feel like um, whoever this is, this might be a soulmate. It could be that there's there's for some of you there's someone new coming in that could be a potential soulmate. But I feel like there whatever happened with the Ten of Cups reverse in the past, whatever unhappiness or heartbreak, it's like you're still carrying it, Aquarius. You still are like attached to it, possibly. I'm connecting this Ten of Cups reverse to that Ten of Swords. I feel like this is someone who wants to fix things and then there's a someone new. That's for some of you. For others of you, this is the same person and you feel a very strong connection. You have a very like soulmate connection with this person. But I feel like you don't know what to do. It's like you're, you're clouded with the Sun reverse. Why is Judgment reverse? I just heard that some of you don't trust your own judgment. That could be it too. Because of how things have happened in the past, now that there's someone new coming in, possibly here, you don't trust your own judgment. Or perhaps there's someone that's coming in from the past that knows exactly how to deal with you, Aquarius. And I feel like you don't trust your own judgment with that person. Let's see. Why is this judgment card reverse? Four of Pentacles, holding on, holding back, King of Swords reverse, yikes. This is a lack of clarity deception here. Very, um, I instantly thought of the Magician reverse. You could have dealt with someone that was um, uh, a narcissist or manipulative, someone that you couldn't trust, someone that lied to you. Tell me about Judgment reverse. Three of Pentacles reverse, Ace of Swords reverse again at the bottom. Aries energy here with the Emperor. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Some with Aries in their chart doesn't have to be. I have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here, Leo, Virgo. The signs not important. I have Air here as well, as well. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini with the King of Swords. Anyways, this I feel. I feel like, okay, some of you were lied to regarding a third party or some sort of interference here. And I think that you've now are guarding yourself, your heart with the Four of Cups, 
Four of Pentacles. I'm surprised I don't see the Two of Swords here. I feel like some of you are protective of yourself because of what you've been through. And this is regardless if this is a new person or the same person coming back, you're, you're protective of your heart because you've been messed with before and you don't trust easily now. So let's see. How do they feel about you? What are they secretly thinking or feeling? Whoever's coming your way. Using my new Secret Moon Oracle deck, this should be out now in my Etsy shop. Click the link down um, in the description box if you're interested in this deck. It's a physical deck. What are they secretly thinking about, Aquarius? What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Aquarius? Or this connection? What are they thinking or feeling? about Aquarius I'm afraid I secretly thinking or feeling about Aquarius I'm taking a risk bottom of the deck you make me happy interesting and again this could be someone new or someone from the past coming back I'm afraid I'm taking a risk. You make me happy. This could be somebody that you know. Maybe you interact with this person. Um, and it's almost like they're afraid to approach you, but they're going to take a risk anyway. Tell me more about how this person is feeling about Aquarius. Tell me more about how this person is feeling. Thinking or feeling about Aquarius. Thinking or feeling about Aquarius. The star reverse, there you are. Ace of Wands reverse. King of Pentacles reverse. Do you feel this is a hopeless situation? Um or perhaps this person screwed you over in the past. I'm sorry, but I feel like this is someone that wasn't able to commit to you. Or something never really took off with this person. Again, I'm getting the sense that this could be for... I'm speaking to two different groups of people. If this is someone from your past, this is someone that really screwed it up. And if, to them, this is a hopeless endeavor, but they're still going to try. Um, I feel like this person probably was in a third-party situation and wasn't able to commit to you. Um, if this is someone new, I feel like this is what they're scared of. They're scared of rejection. They're not good enough for you. They don't think they're good enough for you. I feel like they've tried to approach you or talk about this before, and they haven't been able to really get the words out. Tell me more about the star reverse. Death reverse. Scorpio energy. Why is this star reverse? Three of Swords reversed. This is about healing. This is about healing. Page of Swords through communication. This is about healing. Either healing a third party situation or healing something that is already over or, or something like that. I'm also thinking, it's almost like if this is someone new that you've never been with before, they're going through a healing process. Like they've been heartbroken. Or you've been really heartbroken and they know this about you. Tell me about the Ace of Wands reverse. That's why to them, this is like an uphill battle. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Tell me about the Ace of Wands reverse. I feel like this person wasn't able to really give you much and you were too good for them. The Lovers, Gemini energy here with the Lovers. This is about a choice between what your heart is telling you, what your mind is telling you. Ace of Cups. Yeah, this is about like, this person sees you as the real deal, Aquarius. Like, they see you as their partner. They want to offer you new love. Um, you are the you are it for them, 
But I'm also picking up, it's like for a lot of you, this person realizes or thinks that you're too good for them. They can't meet, meet you at the level of even a nine of pentacles, which is someone that's not really royalty. They need to break out of that fear with the eight of swords reverse here. There's a fear here about this offer. Why is the king of pentacles reverse? And it's like this person is scared to approach you. Virgo energy. Tell me about the King of Pentacles reverse. Three of Pentacles again with the threes. Tell me about the King of Pentacles reverse. Some of you, I feel like this person was in a third party with like, they were like uh, in a long term commitment with someone. Others of you, you could work with this person or this person, I feel. Um, they don't have um they're not very stable they probably are not financially stable or they're just not not really stable and maybe not confident or they just don't um don't have their life in order the way that you do aquarius but for a lot of you this is someone who there's unfinished business here there's a lack of closure and maybe you haven't talked to this person in a long time or someone withdrew from this connection to figure this out. Um, I feel like whatever third party situation this was, it didn't end cleanly. If this is resonating for you, Aquarius, let me know down in the comments if you're dealing with a third party. And even if you're not and this is resonating for you, let me know. This could also be that this is someone from your very distant past where it's like now if you were to meet up, you would be two different people and maybe that's why it feels like new love. But I don't know. I feel like th there's still a possibility here that this is someone completely new. So what are their true intentions? What are their true intentions with Aquarius Spirit? What are their true intentions? I feel like the, the intention here is, I mean, I'm getting good cards here. Um, well, we'll see. What are their true intentions with Aquarius Spirit? Oh, okay. I got, I'll take that one too. Lamb, yeah, this is a message. Crow and the mouse. Yeah, nervous energy. That's that scared energy. Now with the crow I'm picking up, it's like this person, it's like they're imagining how this is going to go down in their mind. Almost like they feel they know exactly how this would go. And maybe that's where the fear comes from because in their mind, you're, they're going to get rejected right away. Um, th this is someone that has something to tell you and is scared to tell you. The crow is a very spiritual card. That could also be that someone's being spiritually guided in some way, whether they realize it or not. So what's next for this connection? I'm going to pick a few cards here. What is next for this connection, sir, between Aquarius and this other person? What's next for this connection? King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is something that someone that knows what they want and how to get it. Four of Wands reverse. Lack of stability, lack of harmony, lack of peace. What's next for this connection? Wow, we got the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands will be turning around, it looks like. It's not always going to be... Um, doom and gloom <laughs> i feel like someone's gonna really go after something here and um approach this approach you most likely about a new beginning the ace of wands bottom of the deck i have the six of swords reverse this could be a return of some sort it doesn't have to be because I, I still am picking up it's almost like there's something off about this new love um card it's almost like like it, it feels almost like you don't know this person but you do at the same time if that makes sense it's almost like it's almost like if you know someone from your childhood right but then you meet up 20 years later you're two different people you don't really know each other like that you know that's kind of what it feels like or what i'm picking up here it's like there's a familiarity but not really this Four of Wands reverse could be a, a lot of things. This could be somebody that is in an unhappy home 
unhappy commitment, um, could be having family problems, or is not very stable right now in life, you know, like they're having, you know, difficulties. And with everything that's going on, that makes a lot of sense. But I don't think that's going to slow down a new beginning, a passionate new beginning from starting here. Someone's going to approach you with some sort of offer. They're just afraid. Afraid to talk to you, afraid of being rejected. That's what I'm picking up here more than anything. And it's almost like they're picturing in their mind different scenarios of how they can talk to you, how they can make this happen. You know, a scenario where you reject them and then another scenario where it's actually the answer they want. Something like that is what I'm, I'm seeing here. There's like this nervous energy, but you know, it, 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 it's nervous energy because to this person, they're taking a huge risk and they're scared to, you know? It's like they're scared to approach you, to talk to you, to take this risk, but they're going to do it because you make them very happy or they feel a passionate connection with you, Aquarius. All right. If this resonated for you, Aquarius, let me know down in the comments how it resonated for you. Hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel for free. Thank you to everyone who has done that already. Thank you so much for checking out the video. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in another one. Take care.